Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there, welcome back. And you're looking at a human family tree that's, you know, actually pretty damn outdated. <laughs> Truthfully, yeah, really. they, they don't have they don't have any like real new ones because there's so many new discoveries coming out all the time, and we have ancestors that are lost. We have ancestors that have never been found. Ancestors that are maybe just hiding out in the Vatican catacombs. I know it's true too. Yeah, and they might happen to look a lot like that evil Sith Lord. Ew, they probably do. And they don't have those updated pictures, so... Kind of like George Soros on a bad day. Or a good day. Or a good day. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there's so much going on. And let me just take a quick peek. I want to make sure that everything is... Yeah, we're looking good. As we're trying out different setups here. So much going on in this world. We have two messages that I want to get into one video here from the Galactic Federation. One of them I've been sitting on for a couple of days and it's making me really antsy, um, quite honestly. Now, there's all sorts of conjecture out there and thoughts on the photon belt. And again, we, we're trying to give like an overview of things and concepts and understanding not saying that you know like this for instance is is not a diagram that we did um, but we just wanted to give you a picture view of you know the photon belt and the thought that we periodically go through these periods these yugas these cycles these ages which differ greatly and some are wonderful it's like heaven on earth and others are literally quite like hell on earth it all depends on where we are and it all depends on our vibrations and our frequency as tesla said you know if you want to know about the the miracles you know if you want to get in deep into understanding how the universe really works it's all about frequency it's all about vibration it's all about energy and consciousness now we are also entering a period that has a lot of things going on you know we're at the end of a cycle and at the end of a very, very large cycle, we're also in a magnetic pole reversal, which lends to our shields being down as far as the Earth's own shields being down, allowing a lot more energy in to hit the surface to just penetrate every single one of us every day. And then we have a grand solar minimum, which is also basically like the sun shields being down because the solar wind actually protects us from cosmic radiation as well. All this leads to energy interacting with our very DNA and the possibility of changes. Because in these cycles, there are all of a sudden species that just disappear and there's other species that pop up out of nowhere. Then we could add to the mix all the artificial flavoring. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of that between the two. There certainly is. You know, so when you look at what's making headlines, you know, you see tons of stuff like this. You know, everything is either zombie apocalypse. And do you guys remember that little warning that came out of Florida years back that had to do with a uh, certain episode or series of episodes in The Walking Dead, a place called Terminus, that was quoted in a zombie alert. This literally came through the EMS system, the emergency um, system in Florida, warning of a zombie apocalypse. And do you remember there were people that had partaken of a certain substance? Do you remember? This, it was down in Miami. There, some people actually acted like zombies. And then, of course, we had that little thing over in Hillsboro, uh, in the Tampa area, with all of a sudden people uh, bleeding from every orifice. There's, there's a lot of weirdness going on mm -hmm. in this world. And it's very, very much, you know, as Cindy said in one of the recent videos, it's very much like we're living in a bad sci-fi movie at the beginning of a bad sci-fi movie. It does. I can't help but feel that feeling, you know, when you just, you're watching the movie open up and you have this really horrible idea and it, it explodes and just everything goes all wrong. <laughs> 
The other thing is mutants and mutations that have tremendous superpowers. You know, those two things you see everywhere. Mutants, mutants, mutants. And then a resurgence in maybe looking deeper into our mythologies. And of course, you know, the Avengers and Thor. I mean, all these, all these things speak to us of archetypes. But they might also speak to us of our own past in so many different ways. Then we look at what's going on all around us from a news point of view. You know, lots of disclosures. We talked about this. You see former Israeli space security chief says extraterrestrials exist and number 45 knows about it. And number 46 does too. A galactic federation has been waiting for humans to reach a stage where we will understand what space and spaceships are. This comes out of, uh, again, a, a top official in Israel, now retired. And we even have NASA documents where they're talking about the probability, statistical probability, and basically say, of course, of course, you know, it's, it's statistically impossible that there's no life out there. Quite the opposite. Um, <clears throat> before we go any farther, I just wanted to let people know because um, one of the things that the Galactics talk about is just the stresses that we're under. We're under tremendous stress. Again, there's tools you could use, yeah, such as mantras, qigong, energy work, and yoga. You know, meditation. These things uh, can just be... I can't underestimate their importance. They're critical for these times. So please do check out our playlists and go deeper. You know, check out others. There's there's so many amazing resources out there on YouTube that aren't being utilized. Aren't being utilized and at this point in time they're not being um, you know forced off of YouTube. <laughs> right. Either so you know might as well take advantage of them while we can. And it, it's amazing. The mantras can totally transform energy in a room in like no time no time and they also can get rid of dark energies unwanted energies so do check out those playlists we see here number 46 is going to speak on tuesday on the country's plans for the winter ahead battling the plague upon the land <clears throat> and you know you could we were talking about this tug of war this um push and push back that's going on as you see this headline from zero hedge white house to the un you know what you're looking at a winter of severe illness and yes well you know i mean we can only speak for ourselves in our direct experience you know and uh you know we are not you know what <laughs> and we have no intentions of it and we we haven't had any severe illness no like any, nothing related to that at mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. and you know again if you have a strong immune system i mean you know you could build up your immune system your wei chi field your wei chi field is your it's your own personal magnetosphere so to speak yeah. you know what i think of that as like if you all have seen a bug zapper and these bugs come so close and they just get zapped and they're gone well you can make your own body a bug zapper you know that repels all of these entities that don't belong in you yeah but again it's all about <laughs> frequency and vibration and you know it's, it's about conductivity and we've talked about that before too you know drinking healthy water and charging your food and your drink with intent um, doing little things that help like adding say trace minerals you know mm -hmm. to your water which could again help with conductivity there's so many things we could do to boost our immune systems uh, by the way those penalties for those dates for men uh, are set to start on january 10th as we see this ebb and flow go on in this this is a this is basically it's a uh war. yeah it's horrible w period a period r period again mm -hmm. and we see texas here is building their own border wall my question is when i saw this i was wondering hmm will they start on that southern border with mexico and will it end up going all the way up <laughs> new mexico cutting across oklahoma 
you know, Arkansas and, and also blocking off Louisiana. Mm-hmm. In, in reference to, and of course some will say, no, they're not going to do that. But the country is going to break up. I don't think there's any way that that doesn't happen. And actually, not just this country, but many countries are, are going to be facing such unrest that, you know, we're not going to recognize the map when this is all done. We're heading into a massive period of unrest. And, you know, that's just a fact. Mm-hmm. It is. It's something that we all need to prepare for. And the best kind of preparation is to prepare from within. Find your center. Find where you can find happiness, no matter what is going on around you, no matter what that hurricane looks like, no matter what things are being thrown in your direction. You need to be able to find your center to get through this. And so this is um, supposed to be shot just uh, not too long ago today in uh, Bulgaria and it's a convoy heading towards the Ukraine of all sorts of military hardware um, <clears throat> so it would have to be penet- you know, going through Romania, Moldova I would guess or Romania straight up into the Ukraine and this is the Black Sea region which is an interesting re- region because again we find these um, skulls over in this region with those long pointy heads Homo compensis you know, the IG, IGI type beings in this area, is that we find the exact same skulls in Peru and South America. Very, very curious. This is again the Ukraine right here. And we know there's been tension, obviously, with Russia and also uh, Belarus. And, you know, things feel like they can uh, go past that point of no return at any time. So we always want to be putting out there that. You know, the people that would be involved in these things, the, the direct participants in the conflict, that they recognize that it's not really in humanity's interest for this conflict to ever start. This is all again about control. As you see, F-15 fighter bombers of the USAF arrived December 15th based in Constanta, Romania, where they will strengthen their presence in the Black Sea region along with Italian Eurofighter typhoons, you know, it's getting so close. People can feel it. They're stressed out because of it. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. What is going on here? More military caravans on the move. You know, things are tense. Absolutely, Mm -hmm. things are tense. And so we have two messages we want to share with you now um, from the Galactic Federation, and this is Laurel, who's also on the Pleiadian High Council. And, you know, the second message that we're going to share, um, yeah, will be controversial because it goes in some ways very counter to a lot of what's out there. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, it's up to each person to just judge for themselves, decipher with their own uh, judgment. And again, you know, if, if you don't have a proper meditative yoga practice, qigong, these things that really develop the energy body, get the kundalini flowing. If your pineal gland is closed, then all you can use is your left brain. You're not going to have that intuitive knowing. And this is what they're banking on. They're banking that you won't know, so you can't be deceived. And that's what's been going on for thousands of years. Mm Mm-hmm. And they've mastered that, too. They've mastered the ability to manipulate. Um, so, we'll start. Let go. We are feeling the anxiety of the collective become greater as they push closer toward war on your planet in your 3D reality. We feel people's anxiety and we see the energies of anxiety. We wish to ask people to quiet their hearts and calm their mind as these are the energies that 
will enter your realm. These are the energies that will enter your existence. We ask that people always remain quiet and still, stilling their hearts. This makes it extremely difficult for to grow entities to enter into your space. We ask that the heart chakra remain open the crown chakra remain open to receive messages from guides. We wish that you do this on an individual basis. And as a collective, these energies come together very much like a magnet and create a force field that is protective in nature. We always rely on nature to sustain us, but we must have our hearts in the right spot. The controllers are very good at bringing anxiety and anger into your homes, mostly through devices, through other people using the airwaves. And we wish to remind you, you can push back with your own heart chakra and your own intentions that all will remain well around you. We do not have an exact date as to when this war will show itself in your reality on your planet, but we can see the energies rise up. The more people remain calm, this will help your 3D reality be the way you wish it to be, for we have much more control than we think in this 3D reality. You simply have not been taught how to use this control to manage your life and benefit you in every way. Mostly the secret is to keep the heart chakra expanded and the crown chakra expanded to your guides and to the cosmos so that you might receive incoming energies that are important for your individual consciousness and for the collective. We do hope this helps people. Thank you for sharing the room. Is there anything else that we should let people know at this time? We do want to have people explore their newfound consciousness, their abilities, their new abilities that should be coming on similar to a light switch. 
these abilities come upon you, sometimes they can be distracting. Most humans are unaware what to do with these entities, energies. These energies can bring about other entities as they will be curious about your new light. We find it best to simply sit and let this light integrate into your body, into your soul. It will take much time. As the abilities are ready to be used, they will show themselves to you. They will help you understand how to use them. We do not suggest people try to use them without any understanding. Everyone will receive their own information on how best to utilize these abilities. After some years of sitting in a spot where integration may occur, all of these things will come to you naturally. Do not rush. This could cause problems that you do not understand. Allow this to happen naturally, these occurrences. Everybody's unique gifts should be viewed as gifts and cultivated gently. Very gently as the controllers know how to use our abilities against us if they have not been properly integrated. This will assure that these abilities are not used in any way to bring any harm as long as they are integrated properly. We do hope this helps you. Thank you, Laurel. Namaste. Namaste. So that was Laurel from the Galactic Federation and the Pleiadian High Council talking about these new abilities. And what are these abilities? Well, they're really going to be the same thing as the yogic superpowers that are taught of in the yogic tradition. You know, that things that Buddhist monks have also been able to do. Uh, number one, you know, we'll be able to read each other's thoughts. You know, we're, we're going to be able to do things like see somebody's aura and watch it change when they're talking to you. So when you have a politician that's on stage and he's saying, look, I'm telling you the truth <laughs> and you're, you're re reading his energy and you're mm -hmm. saying, no, you're not. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can do it to a degree right now. Like yes. you guys can feel these BS, but mostly that's because we've been trained to understand they're kind of full of it. But still, that's one way you start reading people's energy is you trust that inner voice. Most definitely. You know, so again, it's the, the yogic superpowers are the abilities that they're talking about, which there are many different ones. And all these shows out there about mutants, all these you know superpowers, superheroes, these are all alluding to it in albeit a Hollywood way. Mm -hmm. um, it might not be so dramatic, but it is pretty damn dramatic when you will know when somebody is lying to you. Absolutely right. know it. You'll have no doubt. I know. Yeah. A again, you know, you'll be able to read the aura. In many cases, we'll be able to um, be very clairvoyant. 
perhaps clear audience, perhaps clear sentience. Yeah, I mean, and that's the part where you really have to do the spiritual work, the inner work, because sometimes people just aren't ready for this truth. They're not ready for what the world has to honestly show them, because it can be disheartening to understand how deep the betrayal can go. And, you know, I really implore people to find a strong spiritual practice to heal themselves emotionally, physically, in all kinds of ways. And then these things can come to you naturally. Yes. You know, there's a book I read like 30-some years ago, and it's this one, uh, which we have a copy of still, Kundalini, The Evolutionary Energy in Man. And that's why the channel was called Evolutionary Energy Arts. Because it's about, well, how do we get Kundalini going? And that's really all I was going to talk about. I wasn't going to cover really anything else, just energy. Um, but after the group that starts with an I and ends with an I contacted me, then I decided to start covering CON spiracies and things like that as well. But I would recommend if anybody's curious, you know, it looks like they have some use books for four dollars 29 cents you might even be able to find the pdf mm -hmm. um, because he does strongly warn about turning on kundalini when you're not ready if you are um eating donuts for breakfast you know getting a number one super size from big you know big mac or what have you for for lunch and god knows what else you're eating after you know at dinner you're not going to be ready for this mm -mm. you know if you're on all sorts of big let's just say f-a-r-m-a -A, you're not going to be ready for for what's coming all these things will cause m more problems right you have to get your mind and your body in a good place you have to be ready spiritually physically and emotionally mm -hmm. um, because you know there's there's a reason why there's tons of warnings uh, and it takes time and with me it was really a gentle a gentle transition because of my qigong practice so through my qigong practice i was able to move the energies as needed there was times when i felt um well you know truly i felt at one point in time like i could end up having a heart attack until i you know listened clearly to the guides and they were telling me circulate 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 so i started to run the energy through different meridians and it went to an all new level and i was fine but if I didn't have that connection to the guides and know, know to do it and utilize these techniques on a daily basis over decades, it wouldn't have necessarily been so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So everything is sped up in this time period. What we can achieve now in a matter of months would take decades to do in the past. With all the energies coming in, our, our growth is exponential. Mm -hmm. um, but you, it still is fraught with um, potential uh, pitfalls, so to speak. You know, you, you got to be careful, but you have to be dedicated still and be gentle. But, you know, again, go into our playlist on, on mantras, on yoga, on qigong and meditation, and, and find others too. You know, Mantak Chia is a great teacher, Dr. Yang Ming. Uh, another great uh, Qigong master, um, Damo Mitchell is another Qigong master that's really good as well. I mean, there's tons of them um, that you could you could learn from and follow. Qigong helps to move the energy, and you know there are many practices that will initiate the energy. You know, Kriya Yoga is one way. There's all sorts of different ways. The thing is, it's happening naturally now just from the energies coming in. Mm -hmm. Just from the sun. Energies in coming from the sun. The kundalini is awakening. And I, on the other hand, had a much different experience because I didn't understand what was going on. And when I was young, um, nearly, well, it did put me in hospitals. It, it was very dramatic. So uh, for since then, I've just been slowing down doing the qigong, more meditation. Integrate, 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 integrate. And... Um, that seems to have really helped a lot. But that book, uh, if anybody's curious, it'll help too. Yes. So, you know, that's why you have everything going on. Because they know that we would be changing right now into something that is absolutely out of their control. Mm -hmm. Out of their reach. And, and this is part of the uh, true creator's purpose. The, the real source with a big S, as, you know, the word God has been just 
claimed by so many different beings or labeled to so many different beings um, that you know it, it makes it difficult yet there are beings that even the Galactic Federation would call the gods the devas as as we you know have spoke about them and so this is the second message I know this is getting a little bit long but we want to share it yes please we were just starting to talk about changes on your planet as far as military movement is concerned and as you know, much of this information is cloaked, but we can talk to you about the changes, the evolutionary changes on your planet, and we would like to speak to you about keeping your human body that you were born with in a state of evolving so that it does not get delayed as you understand the controllers are using several methods to control this evolutionary path and to delay it and have it be distracted so that they might continue to have control over you. And you can see many people are standing their ground. They are holding resistance as they should. This will cause quite a split of energies on your planet. This is where small civil wars will start to break out, we feel, when people have literally been pushed, pushed to the point where they will tolerate no more. It is up to the individual as to what they will tolerate, what they will allow the controllers to do. Every person must make their own decision within their heart. And this is your specific evolutionary path. The most important thing that we have learned when it comes to evolution is that you are true to yourself and your truths answer to no other being. This is most important during this time of change. Things will happen naturally. Things will happen as they should as long as you walk in your own truth. We do hope this helps you make the decisions that you need to make that are best for you. And we also hope that you and your loved ones have a wonderful journey here on Earth of discovery and wonder. It is up to you. The choice is yours. We understand there are many influences, many factors at play. But this is where you have to keep returning to the self to be sure you are in alignment with your personal truth and you are not being swayed by those that only wish to control you. 
is it fair to say that the liberation of Earth can only truly occur from the actual citizens of Earth claiming their freedom themselves? This is a very big truth. This is something we do wish we could help people understand further that their liberation is up to them. It is not up to someone else. It is not someone else's liberation to give. It is yours. It is your liberation. And we do hope that you wish to receive it. And there are some that say the Galactic Federation is battling on a 3D level in the underground bunkers and the deep underground military bases flushing out uh, Draco and reptilians. Is this true? We guide humanity in its evolution, on its evolutionary path. We do not take up arms to move against the controllers. We do not make war. We create peace and abundance. We create self-love and understanding to those who wish to receive it. Thank you for clarifying, Laurel. Is there anything else? Not at this time. Namaste. Namaste. So I know that's a big one that there's other people that are, um, you know, putting out something very, very different. And just look back through their videos. Just look back through their history, you know, when they've, you know, given different timelines and said, you know, this is going to happen in November. This is going to happen in January. Don't worry, freedom's coming in March. Don't worry, it's going to be August. Don't worry, it's going to be September. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it's going to be December. Don't worry, it's going to be another year. And it doesn't happen. Right. And it's, it's so frustrating when you're, you have these expectations. And why wouldn't you? All of this sounds so terrific. Let's make it happen now. And it doesn't. No, you know? but there are other things at play. Because there will be a time when they're going to stick out in front of you beings that they're going to say are from the Galactic Federation, but they're not. And is what I feel strongly and I've always felt is these beings are going to be the beings that might look very Pleiadian. They might be dressed up like the Galactics, but they're going to be the ones that gave Hitler the knowledge of how to build the saucers. And they are ultimately, they're under the control of the Dark Ones. And they've been here the whole time. They've been working side by side down in these dumps. They've been working side by side, you know, on, in other locations in orbit and on other planets, you know, but they are not the G-Fed. And so, again, it's going to be a, another sort of red herring, but with the purpose of getting you to trust the wrong ones. And, you know, as many people have instinctively known, without even really understanding why, you know, they just know, don't get on the first ships. You know, because the first ones they're going to show are going to be part of the controllers. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they, they may very use very well use good, good cop, bad cop and saying, well, these, these are some of actually Enki's people, you know. And remember, Enki always wanted to help humanity. <laughs> but then when Anu came and was going to grant humanity basically the benefits that the Anunnaki's themselves had, Enki's the one that talk basically talked us into not accepting if we look back to those legends and tricked us mm -hmm. to, to staying one notch lower so again there's a good cop bad cop thing that they use all the time and we see it you know and all around us constantly it's it's just so sad but we have to understand the truth to face the truth yeah and so like with cindy and i know i mean we we don't look at other people's material um, often people will, will send us stuff and, you know, if we take a peek, you know, it, it's, it's not, we're not judging with the left brain anymore. We're, we're judging through the pineal gland. We're going through our perceptive abilities and our higher selves. 
And as people wake up, develop their kundalini, develop their pineal glands, and develop discernment, they won't have to judge things logically left brain because you'll just simply know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And And it will become obvious. So... Thank you guys so much for being part of the family. Thanks for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. Do check out Medicinal Arts. There's a link at the top of every video. And use the coupon code EEA and get a discount. Help support the channel. As always, put out your positive intentions. God bless and namaste. Namaste.